I got this Polaroid camera recently, and I wondered what would happen if I soaked some pictures I took in different liquids. Well, nothing happened, because the pictures have this outer layer that protects them from almost anything, so I'm going to have to cut them open. Also, I had a feeling this was going to take a lot of trial and error, so I needed a lot more images to test with. Quick disclaimer, don't try this at home. I have a controlled environment, but testing unknown reactions can be very dangerous. So besides the obvious mistake of not cutting them open to begin with, opening them up was a challenge. I was attempting to keep the Polaroid frame mostly intact, but my initial methods were kind of messy. I also attempted to just cut along the top of the picture so that liquid could get in, but that also didn't work. So reverting to my previous method, another issue was getting the images to cleanly separate. Sometimes the image would get ripped from the plastic, get these weird lines, or both of those would happen. Occasionally it would work just right, but I needed to sort out a more consistent method for this process. Also, hi, this is my new setup that I've been working on. It's still a work in progress and I have some ideas on some decor items I could add, but more on that later. Back to the Polaroids. Another issue I ran into was with evaporation. I originally got some spray bottles and I was doing a lot of tests where I would spray different Polaroids and leave them for long amounts of time. I did get a few results which gave me some hope that this project would work, but most of the liquids evaporated before doing anything. And lastly, there was the bleach. I had been using this bleach in a lot of my experiments up to this point, and I was shocked at how it wasn't doing anything. But it turns out that this bleach had almost completely degraded. I just hadn't realized how long it had been sitting in storage. So I got myself some new bleach to retest a lot of the same experiments. So one of my first breakthroughs was to just cut off each side. This made taking it apart way easier and it still looked mostly normal. Along with that, I also discovered that if you ran the Polaroid under cold water first, the picture would consistently peel off without any issues. I do have a theory that if you use hot or boiling water, the picture might peel away from the front plastic, but I stuck with cold water since that seemed to work for me. Another major lesson was to just soak the images rather than spray them. Oftentimes you would actually see reactions happen within minutes, so this was so much more effective at seeing what liquids actually worked. But in some cases, the reactions happened super fast, like this image, which dissolved when I looked away for just a few seconds. And my last major discovery was with acidic foods. I had tried using vinegar on one image, and it actually started to change the color of the image. However, after a while, for some reason the effect just disappeared. I tried one more time with a longer soak, but the same thing happened, so decided to up the acidity to lime juice. This time, I put it in the sun after soaking it, and that made a pretty cool effect. After going through about 40 pictures, I decided to call it on testing because Polaroids are expensive, but I did get some really cool results. This was the result of using just soap and water, and even though it was taken on a sunny day, it makes me think of rain. And this was the result of the lime juice. Like the vinegar, it did start to reverse until I put it in the sun. And one of the things that's so cool about the lime juice is just how fast the reaction happens. Just watch how fast this color change happens. Also, if you don't put it in the sun, you can watch it slowly reverse back to normal. This was an unexpected result because I sprayed it and forgot about it. The back looks like it has a bunch of craters, and I just think the warping that happened on the front is really interesting. Also, I ended up mounting all of these to plastic so I could protect them while still seeing the details on the back. And here's one of the bleached Polaroids, which I love the look of. The bleach was incredibly powerful and changed the color and texture quite a bit. Alternatively, I tried straight bleach spray on another one, and I thought I just lightly misted this, which just goes to show how destructive bleach can be. This one was made with food coloring and salt water. I don't think the salt water played any role in the final look, but I was amazed at how well the color affected the image. Even after washing everything, and sadly damaging it a little, the color was somehow infused into the picture. These were just some of my favorites, but I did do a lot of other testing. A lot of them just weren't that interesting, and some were almost unrecognizable. I was thinking it would be cool to make a poster out of one of these to put up right here on my wall. Let me know in the comments which one of these you like best, and I'll make that happen.
One of the biggest takeaways from this project was just how unexpected a lot of these reactions were. I never knew how the final image was going to look. This was another image treated with the same bleach process as before, but the result was very different. Rather than bubbling up as much, it ate away at the picture in these vertical lines. I think there's something beautiful in the chaos of even the most destroyed images that I got from this. And in some ways, I enjoy not knowing how the final results will turn out. While doing this project, I really enjoyed working with Polaroids and it gave me some inspiration for a really crazy idea for the future. I don't think I have the finances or resources to pull it off right now, or at least in the way that I would want to, but I think if we could get the channel to 100,000 subscribers, it might be within reach. I know that's an ambitious goal, and I don't know how far off that'll be, but I think it would be cool to have something to shoot for. As for this crazy idea, I'm not going to give away all the details yet, but you'll know more soon enough.